Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Frey, and I thought to myself, what better gameplay to post on YouTube from Black Ops 2 the day before the world supposedly ends? Well, I thought the best killstreak gameplay to show you was, of course, a swarm. Why? Because when you actually get kills with it, it says Falling Skies, just like that TV show that is about aliens, interestingly enough, and left me in a real cliffhanger when it ended. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so yeah, that's basically what this gameplay is. It's a Call of Duty Black Ops 2 Nintendo Wii U swarm. It's my actual first swarm I ever got since this gameplay has been created. I got already over two swarms. Actually, no, I only got two swarms so far, including this one. Um, I actually came close to getting two swarms in one game. Unfortunately, I was spawned on, but that's a gameplay for another day, or possibly tomorrow, since tomorrow the world ends, supposedly, and maybe that could be a great addition to the Falling Skies killstreak gameplay. <laughs> um, obviously, I could have brought you a nuke gameplay, which would have probably fit well as well with the supposed apocalypse, but it's Black Ops 2 time now. <laughs> um, Anyways, enough about what supposedly will or not happen in a couple of hours. I want to. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm getting little mixed words up here. I actually want to talk about how to get a freaking high kill streak in this game. You can see my kill streaks there are set to um, maybe not the best for a swarm. Normally, I would suggest a stealth chopper, a orbital V satellite, and a swarm. Those are the killstreaks I, I run now when I want to get a swarm, and they work. Mm, well, I, I, after I got a swarm a second time, I didn't really try to get any more, but I got it within two games. So, there you go. It's a really great setup, especially because once you get that V satellite, you're pretty much guaranteed to get the swarm as long as you know you don't get spawned on or have an unfortunate episode of lag, uh, which I know m many people unfortunately experience so besides maybe getting that bad luck you most likely will definitely get your kill streak uh, as long as it's higher than the V satellite you can get any kill streak especially dogs and and gun w gunship or warship th those are I don't know for some reason I personally feel like even though dogs and warship are not the easiest there's definitely a hundred times easier than the swarm I'm not really sure why it's only like a couple what two kills after dogs but for some reason they're a lot more difficult to get um, so I hope you guys look at this gameplay and see basically what, I, what I'm doing um, what you want to do is run a silenced weapon now I personally have mixed feelings with silenced weapons because you know it's kind of cheap you, sh you sneak up to people you shoot them they don't see you but obviously when you're going for a kill streak that's primarily the best thing to do um, I, I tend to live by the fact that, hey, don't use a silencer, don't use anything that will make you stay out of the mini-map. You know what? You want them to come to you. So, shoot and spray as much as you want without a silencer and they'll come to you. And that philosophy works well when I'm trying to go for other kill streaks, and it works fairly quickly. But, again, I do recommend you use a, a silenced weapon. Now, I do like the silenced MP7 because it's very accurate and it's very deadly. Um, obviously it's gold because you know gold weapons rule and I'll soon have a diamond after I work on the freaking vector I already have the Chicom uh, which was my most recent gold gun anyways um yeah if you wanna run a silenced weapon for perks I recommend scavenger because you you're gonna need to refill your ammo I will admit though I'm not actually using scavenger this is my stealth class which runs basically anti every aircraft in general so you can't you can't if you aim at me you can't see my name and if you I don't know say I don't know whatever you can't see me through the MMS you can't see me through most of uh, target finders and stuff you can't you can't see me in general because I have that um, you can't see me in IR scope either uh, which is I, I guess I'm describing cold-blooded if I'm correct and I also run ghost so you know it keeps me out of the minimap and the reason I'm not running scavenger particularly is because I'm playing domination and domination if you really wanna like get get whatever kill streak you're going for but you're worried about running out of ammo you're lucky you're really in luck in this mode actually most people love dom demolition because you know if the game ended whatever perk you're using if you're not using scavenger you would get your whole ammo box full when the round restarted now that you know the rounds restart 
and you switch sides you get your ammo back so again I don't recommend using scavenger unless you really really feel you need to and you know just mess around and get a get try to get your kill streaks once you get your kill streaks you know the round will restart you get your full ammo box and it's a brand new fresh breath of air and you could go and kill anyone you want and have a plenty of ammo to do it I uh, also I'm running dexterity I believe or mm, I'm really not sure what red perk I'm, I'm using um, usually I like dexterity because that really helps you get across obstacles and I do recommend it because it makes you a lot quicker I, I cannot explain how many times I've died because I couldn't climb up an object quick enough to actually be safe um, right here you can see I, I really felt like are you kidding me I get a chopper and then someone else calls it in right that second before me I felt really unfortunate luckily though I still managed to keep myself together keep my composure and eliminate the other team um, <laughs> this weapon particularly right here the PDW is incredible for uh, long range and uh, middle to close range so I definitely recommend it if you ever find it on the floor pick it up it's it's basically a rifle with an extremely long clip and it'll definitely help you get your kill streaks that you need especially when spawn trapping and you know for attachments of course silencer and really I just use a dual mag I've heard that extended mag gives you more bullets I completely understand and I agree with that it's a very uh, valuable attachment to have on your weapon but I prefer dual mag because I, I am a I just have to always reload after I get a kill it's something that's been with me since the first Call of Duty I ever played you know I always have to have a full clip in case I run into a squad of people and I need to eliminate them all I need the most bullets I have the most bullets I can have in my chamber at that moment as you can see here I finally got my swarm and I hope some of my tips were good um, another tip is stay out of the limelight stick to the sides of the map you know just fo focus on the on the hot spots of the map where everyone goes to stick to the sides of them and just aim and hopefully you won't get nailed um, play carefully of course you don't want to just run into the center of the map and, and get popped one anyways with that swarm killing me right there I hope that brings this gameplay to an end because my actual theater cut out unfortunately so I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay and found some valid lessons in how to get your killstreaks so anyways guys I thank you for watching and I'll see you next time